Here we are, the Advent Storybook 25 Bible Stories showing why Jesus came. I hope you're beginning to get the sense as to why Jesus came. Today is day 13. Here it is, Moses and the plagues, day 13. Oh my goodness, can you see all of that? Oh, there's locusts everywhere, there's darkness, there's all these things. Oh, I wonder what's going on there. Well, let's find out. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I stretch out my hand against Egypt and bring out the people of Israel from among them. That was Exodus chapter 7, verse 5. One day, after many years had passed, Moses was watching his sheep in Midian when he saw a bush on fire, but it wasn't burning up. When Moses came close, God spoke from the bush. He wanted to save his people from slavery and give them a good home. God promised to be with Moses, but Moses was afraid. Moses asked God to tell him his name. God said, I am who I am. God told Moses that he would be a, do amazing miracles in Egypt. The Egyptians worshipped pretended gods. They didn't know the one true God. God wanted everyone to know that he was the only God. Well, Moses returned to Egypt, Egypt to tell people to let to tell Pharaoh to let God's people go. But Pharaoh refused to listen. He plugged his ears. Can you plug your ears? He refused to listen. Can you do that? OK. So God helped Moses and his brother Aaron show Pharaoh a sign of God's power. God turned the water of the Nile River into blood. No one could drink that water and the fish died. But Pharaoh's heart remained Hard. Can you act like you've got a hard heart? Put a fist right there. His heart remained hard. Then God sent great troubles called plagues on Pharaoh's country. Egypt was filled with frogs, then gnats, then flies. But Pharaoh's heart was still hard. Can you do a hard heart? Hard. His heart was still hard. So God sent a disease that killed many animals. Pharaoh still wouldn't listen. Can you close your ears? Put your fingers in your ears. Pharaoh wouldn't, still wouldn't listen. God made sores appear on animals and people. Then God sent hail and lightning and thunderstorms and swarms of locusts. And God sent a darkness. Can you, I'm pretending to be darkness. God sent a darkness. He sent a darkness that covered the whole land. No matter how God showed his power. Pharaoh hardened, hardened, can you do that? Hardened his heart and would not listen to Moses. He would not let the Israelites go. God told Moses that he would send one last plague. This one would be the worst. Again, Pharaoh would not listen. Can you put your fingers back in your ears? He would not listen. At midnight, the firstborn of every Egyptian family died this time, Pharaoh's heart softened. Can you make your heart soften? Here's a hard heart. Make it soften. Finally, he let God's people go. Pharaoh is not the only one with a hard heart. When we are slaves to sin, our hearts become hard too. We need a rescuer to give us new hearts and to set us free. So why do you think Pharaoh didn't want to listen to Moses? Have you ever not wanted to listen to someone who was trying to teach you something? Good questions. Maybe you can talk it over with your mom and your dad and your, your grandparents. Well, that was day 13. Okay? Moses and the plagues. We'll be back with day 14 tomorrow. See you then. Bye.